Hi guys, welcome to LDFS. I'm Dr. Lakshmi. Today we will be discussing about how to make a patient registration form and consent form online. So in this video, we will be discussing why is it important first and second, how to create it. And there is a part two video of this coming. I will, at the end of this video, I'll tell you what all things we'll cover in those, that video. So uh, first let us understand why is it important. 90% of the dental clinic still uses the uh, old formula of having a paper or having a card where they ask the patient to enter their details and you know sign the consent form etc. But uh, it's very tedious job to first maintain those things in a cupboard, find those things when the old patient comes. So imagine in the starting, you will have only 100, 200 patients. But when we grow, we will have 5,000, 10,000, 15,000 patients. Then it's difficult and a tedious job to search every file and then take out that, uh, that name. And even if we arrange it alphabetically or in some manner, there are a few names which are very common. And in those names also, we will have n number of surnames, etc. And it's it takes a lot of time of hours or, you know, the receptionist to find those things and then also to uh, have do not have that human error and then keep it at some other place. You have to keep it that place itself. So for these factors, if we have something online, it's very easy. It's convenient. Even when I started, I was using the card format and slowly I shifted to the online one. And trust me, it's uh, it's very easy to uh, filter details. It's very easy to find details. It's very easy. Sorry, I think the light went. Uh, it's very easy to uh, get uh, the um, required data of that patient or the required consent form of that patient and in just a fraction of a second. And the best part is this everything we can have in free of cost. There's no charges which we have to pay. We just need to know which software to use and how to save those things. So today we will discuss how to create the online form. So let me share my screen with you. So the platform which I am going to use today is Google Forms. So just type Google form in your browser. You'll get something like this. Click on this link. Click on the personal one. Okay, so now you'll be asked actually directed to a sign in page. I have already signed in. So after signing in to your Google account, you will get something like this. So in the top one, this is the template which the Google has already given us, which we can use directly if you want to create a form or else we can create a new one. So I'll click on the new one. Okay, so let's change the file name first. So dental clinic. Okay, the form name, we can keep it as patient registration form and consent okay so this is the title of the form now this form description i will explain at the end of this video so let's jump to the next tab so here if you click on this there are these many type of questions. These are five questions which we will be discussing today. So I will give you an example of each one of them. I'm just right. Uh, so we'll just start with the short answer type. The short answer type can be name. So there are three options here. One is duplicate. Another is to delete this question. Another is, the, is that uh, this button, if we click it as on, it will be a required question. That means whosoever is filling this form, they have to answer this question. So you can keep it as a required or not required question also. Next, if you want to add one more question, there's a plus icon here, click on that. Now we'll see the second example. Short answer is done, paragraph. We can write it as address. And I'll keep it as required question. Next, we'll add one more question. And this will be the third type. That is a multiple choice. In multiple choice question, we can write like uh, your travel history. Right, uh, I'm just writing roughly 
you can just frame it nicely so travel history like right now uh, because of the covid we need to know whether they have traveled outside india or not so th that question you can add it so we'll write just write the option as yes and another option we'll write it as no and then it will automatically save it you, you don't need to save somewhere or click somewhere so just add we'll add one more question to this so next question we'll try is it check boxes in check boxes you can ask them about their medical history so i'll just write here diabetes or etc um, okay. whenever you are giving something like this medical history or some symptoms you are asking always remember to give an option of none if you are keeping this question as a required question because or else they won't be able to submit the form okay so medical history i'll keep it required next i'll add one more question this is the last type of question that is a drop down in this we can write gender so let's add female male so some sometimes some questions if the google is familiar with they'll give you some suggestions you can just directly click, click on those options and that option will be added in your question so i've just added male female and others this is also a required question for me. So this, I'm just giving you an overview of what all different type of questions we have and all those things. And let's see now the form description. This form description, uh, if you want to convert this patient registration form into a consent form, then whatever the write-up of the consent form is there, that you can just add it over here. I'll just write content of consent form then at the end of this form just add one more question we can add like i agree or i give my consent i give my consent an option i am giving only one option of yes I'm not giving option of no because I want them to submit and give consent. Okay, so that is the reason I'm, I've made it a required question plus only one option of a yes. So now the, this question is also added. So this now this form of a patient registration form has been converted into a consent form. So in this uh, description also, this video's description, I have uh, pasted a link which is of a sample patient registration form or consent form which we have created. You can directly use that as a uh, uh, as your form in the clinic or you can just edit it also. So that is just to give you an idea of how the uh, form will look, how the patient will feel about it and how many questions you can add and all those things. And there's no limitation of any questions which you can add. So um, I'll just stop the share. So this is all about how to create the form. So in the next video, we will be discussing about how to customize this uh, form, how to save the form, how to collect the responses from the people and how to convert it into a file. And also third is how to share this to the uh, patients. How, how can we share this form to the patient? So those all things we will be covering in the next video. Uh, I hope you like this video, kindly share it and uh, kindly save our number phone number that whatsapp number 8105701619 save this number and uh, send us a hi and with your name on it on whatsapp message and we will add you to the broadcast list so whenever we are releasing some video or we are giving some freebies like we gave some ebooks and all those things we uh, will directly send you those links on your whatsapp so don't forget to save our number because the broadcast message won't uh, be received by you if you are not saving our number. Okay, hope you liked it. Thank you. Bye.